Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Steve and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Intercom for customer service. So let's get started. First of all you can create your account from here. However I'm just going to log in. And now I'm going to use Google. Then I'm going to choose my account. Almost there. And here we are. So basically this is how Intercom looks like. So in order to get full access to the functionalities of uh, Intercom, you will find many windows opened in the left. So if I choose, for example, the help desk here, I will find many options. I will find options here. I will find options here as well. I will find options here i will find options there and here so it's so much it's too much options so how can you just limit all these options in the form of simple and quick access options that suits you as a beginner this can be done by two ways the first way is to press ctrl or command plus k and this window will open in front of you or you can just click on this thunder icon and the same window will open in front of you. So this window contains most of the of the important features that you can use in Intercom. So basically, uh, we will explore them or most of them in this tutorial. And let's start with the first one, which is Compose Reply. So basically, when you have like um, a customer or someone who sends messages for you, so you need to reply for him. This is done by just choosing to uh, press on Compose a Reply and here you will be able to write to him. So let's say Bella wrote a complaint for us so we can respond back this way. The next item is Compose Note. So it's basically the same concept. However, it's, it's a note. It's not a message. So it's basically like this note on the top which is marked in yellow saying this is a sample conversation. So basically it's not a message, but it's something or, or a short note which refers to something in this chat or refers to another message. So it's not a message, but it's something that you use to refer to something in your own chat box. Next item is use macro, which is one of the most important features, by the way. So let's explore it. Use macro is like automatic replies, which can be used um, to respond to specific cases for your own customers quickly so for example if one of your um, customers has reported a bug you can go to this macro which says hi bella thanks for letting us know i have logged this issue for further investigation with our engineers and keep you posted for, on any updates so this is basically an automatic reply which is saved and its format is saved so once you click on it it will be uh, copied and pasted to your uh, uh, to your um, chat box and it will be posted. Now let's just make it a reply instead of note. So basically this is one of the macros. Let's say you want to um, create your own automatic reply and these ones are not sufficient for you. So you can create your one by going here and clicking. So now it will ask you for the new macro's name Let's say, for example, um, opening a ticket. And the, uh, we can add message here. Let's say, thanks for your patience. Your ticket has been submitted. And now you can add actions here. Let's say, for example, assign to a teammate. And this teammate is me, for example. So I will assign this problem to myself. And this action will be available when it's selected. And it's available for everyone. So now I can save my macro. And now I can go back. I can click on here. I don't think it would appear now. We will need to refresh. Exactly, it does not appear. So now let's refresh our page and check it out again. So 
So let's check now. Let's go to macros or press on control plus K and choose macro. And here it is opening a ticket. So once I click on it, here it will be thanks for your patience. Your ticket has been submitted and it will be assigned to me. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next item, which is Fin Copilot, which is a really amazing put that can help you to uh, summarize uh, some of your text or uh, access on many functionalities. So let's click on it and explore it more. Here you can see that a Fin Copilot can help you on all of these. So basically it can summarize the whole conversation. So if we click here, you will find that it has summarized all of the chat. It uh, has written the question as well as the summary. So uh, let's write any text like this one, for example. And we can manipulate it using uh, Fin, uh, fin uh, Copilot. So if we chose this option, and for example, I chose um, more friendly. See, the text has changed to a more friendly text. Let's select another. For example, let's select more formal. Amazing. Let's choose another. Let's choose just one of the, of the rest. Let's say, for example, expand. See, this is supposed to be thank you only. And it, it has been expanded to literally about 10 lines. So this is basically how you can use uh, Finco Pilot. So now let's go and explore the next item. So now let's go again to our shortcuts and let's choose Use Content Showcase. This is a template for one of these things. Like for example, if you want to uh, send an announcement, you can click on it and it will give you a template that you can use. So once you press on customize, you can see that it will ask you about the heading, the page URL that you want to um, be tra transferred to. You can also mention the title, description and cover image. And once you are done with this, it will pop up here like um, a poster or an announcement. So this is basically, uh, basically simple. Now let's move on to the next feature. And I think this is the last important feature that I will talk about in this tutorial. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. So let's go and check convert to customer ticket. This can convert the whole chat into a ticket. So if I clicked on um, upgrade here and pressed on convert to ticket, it will be converted as a ticket and here you can see the status. So it's submitted. Once you click on it, you can change it into in progress, waiting, resolved or closed. Once you press on, for example, closed or resolved first, then you chose to close it. Here you can see that it has been moved to the closed tickets. So this is basically how it works. Now the next features are pretty self-explanatory as I said, like switch to dark, dark theme, switch language, new conversation. You can also um, manipulate your tags here. You can create new macro as we said before, you can show your achievements and so on and so forth. So they are, as I said, pretty self-explanatory and they do not require extra uh, explanation. So this is how easy you can use intercom. So that's it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, if you liked this video, press a like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.